as I previously mentioned, if an input pin is floating, it may result in leakage current from VCC to the ground. In this video, let's see how that could happen. First, let's take the case of input pin, which is not floating, but fixed to VCC or ground state. And this is our input buffer circuitry inside the MCU. When the pin is driven to high voltage, at this point it's low due to the inverter. As a result of that, T1 is on and T2 is off. Hence, there is no path for the current to reach the ground. So in this case, leakage will not happen since the current never leaks out from plus VCC to the ground. All right. Again, in this case, when the pin is fixed to low voltage, T1 is off and T2 is on and still current from VCC cannot able to reach the ground. So in this case, also there is no leakage. Let's come to the floating state. In this case, the pin input voltage is not fixed. So due to the circuit noise, what actually happens is that the input voltage may toggle between 50% or 70% of the VCC to say 30% of the VCC. That means the voltage on this pin will be somewhere in this region, which actually turns on both the transistors with resistance. So as a result, small amount of current will sink into the ground, taking this path. Let's understand this with a tap analogy. Look at this tap analogy. Here the wall is completely closed, so no water leaks. That corresponds to the input which is fixed to high or which is fixed to low which turns off either one of the transistors completely as a result no leakage. Look at this wall here water leaks because a valve is partially closed. This corresponds to the floating input which picks up random voltage which turns on both transistor with resistance. As a result there will be a small amount of current which leaks from VCC to the ground. But all modern microcontroller input buffers use a Smith trigger to combat the noise issue. If you are really interested, you can go through the Smith trigger concepts, but believe me, for software developers, skipping that would be perfectly fine. Great, in the next videos, we'll learn about GPIO configuration registers one by one.